What causes wars and how can we prevent them? The military strategist Clausewitz famously explained, war is politics by other means. In other words, when political leaders can't get what they want through peaceful methods, they calculate the cost of achieving their goals by using force. If they believe the cost is tolerable enough, war then becomes a viable option. Many times, wars occur when one or both sides misjudge their relative strength. Nations that start wars, often aggressors weaker than their adversaries, are too optimistic about the cost and time it will take them to fight and win. War then becomes a cruel auditor of relative military power, often at catastrophic costs. Preventing war, or ensuring strategic deterrence, is all about raising the perceived cost of using force. In contrast, a policy of complete non-intervention by strong military powers like the United States does the opposite. It actually reduces the cost for our adversaries and makes them more confident that they can achieve their goals through the use of aggressive military force. While it may seem counterintuitive, preventing wars isn't possible without a strong commitment to establishing deterrence and the willingness to use force to stop aggressors who would harm others to get what they want.